This is Dave from Mark Spectre Comics, and uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, auction that happened this afternoon at Bruno and Company's Auctioneers. I um, wanted to talk a little bit about the books that sold, some of the um, prices that they sold for, my thoughts, and a record price from earlier in the year from this auction house. If you're interested in that, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so uh, welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I put out some content, you'll get it in a timely fashion. This time, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, auction selling at the uh, Bruno & Company auctioneers. We'll uh, go over some of the prices, some of my thoughts, and uh, you know some of the books I was looking at. But before we get into today's auction, I wanted to talk a little bit about a potential... Uh, really cool sale that no one even talked about in the community. Um, let's go back to the auction on New Year's Day. This was from a single owner collection, 20 book lot to my knowledge. And uh, there were some amazing books here. I didn't get a chance to show this previously, but I wanted to go over it now since there was another auction that happened there today. So. 20 book lot, um, 20 book single owner collection. Show you some of the books. Um, Amazing Fantasy 15 at a CGC 5.5 sold for $70,000. Now this is hammer price. This is not including the 20% premium that is added onto the book. And this is common for any auction house, whether it's Comic Link, Comic Connect, Heritage Auctions, Christie's, you name it. They all come with a 20% a premium, at least. So, uh, 70000 was pretty pretty strong price. I don't have GPA, unfortunately, so I can't reference what the going price is. Um, they would have the uh, most current sales and stuff like that. I don't have a membership, so if you guys have that, you can reference it rather quickly and let me know. Um to see if they were record prices or not. Um, there was some pretty big books here. Fantastic Four, number one at an 8.0, sold for 120. And I like how they do put the estimates here on what they expected it to sell for. And uh, 50 to 80,000, I thought that was kind of low for that grade. Um, selling it for 120 was a pretty, pretty good price, pretty strong price for that book. Uh, there's a Hulk one for 6.5 at 55,000. And you're noticing that most of these um, either came in at the estimate or a little higher. Um, so I'm scrolling down. As you can see, some of these prices coming right around the estimates. But there was one book in this 20, um, 20 lot auction that really caught my eye and it's none of these books here but the last book in the entire auction so this was a marvel book werewolf by night issue number one at a 9.8 and like i said i don't believe i saw anyone report this book whatsoever it sold for a forty one thousand dollar hammer price <laughs> which is Absolutely incredible. I would have never imagined this book going for 40000 Going into the auction, there was, as you can see here, an estimated price of five to $8,000. Um, clearly shattered it over five times. Uh, 41000 not including the 20% premium. So uh, went well over that. Um, rather rare book to get in a 9.8. I like how they put the information here is only three in the census. That's it. So I would imagine there hasn't been one that's gone up for auction in quite some time. Um, like I said, if you have GPA, you can pull that up rather quickly. I don't, but um, I don't believe GPA has this book recorded because they typically gather their prices from eBay, 
and your big auction houses like um, Heritage, Comic Link, Comic Connect, you don't often get prices reported from these small auction houses here. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I said I don't think anyone's reported this sale because unless you use this auction house, I just don't know how how it gets reported to these um, these you know collection sites like uh, GPA, Go Collect, Cover Price, etc. Um, never saw a single person report this sale, so there you go. I believe, to my knowledge, I'm the first one to report it. Absolutely incredible price for this book. Um, it's not a first appearance. It's a solo issue number one for Werewolf by Night. Great cover by Mike Plug, And uh, just wanted to report that real quick. Incredible sale. So going back to today's auction. Um, if you haven't used this auction house before, you can actually go in person and, and attend. It's in Rhode Island. Um, pretty cool you know, place to go check out. You can preview the books all ahead of time if you go there by appointment. And uh, they had one, like I said, this afternoon. They don't do just comics. They do toys. They do, um, let's see, they do co uh, collectibles like Pokemon cards and sports cards. You know, all, all sorts of uh, neat things, including... Um, Militaria, so they do like um, old weapons. They do fine art. They do furniture. So it's 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 a little bit of everything. So that's um, it's pretty neat. So I do believe they do have another uh, auction coming up. I want to say maybe early February, if I'm not mistaken. You can you know refer to the uh, to the site. They they tell you all that stuff. But uh, let me go over some of the lots real quick and uh, just show you some of the, the cool books that went up for sale. And I'll give you some of my thoughts. So um, here's a cool key right here. Amazing Spider-Man 101 at a CGC 6.0. Sold for 550, right around the estimate between four and 600. Like I said before, all hammer prices, they do not include the 20% premium. So keep that in mind when referencing uh, current FMV. Um, just scrolling down it, and I'll make this rather quick. This one actually had quite a larger amount of books up for auction compared to the first one on New Year's. So you can see here, 252 lots. So I will go through this fairly quickly, point out any of the cool books that I thought was uh, just worth mentioning. I believe there was a couple of books that did not sell, you know, for maybe just there was no interest. There was a nice one right here, CGC 9.0 of Amazing Spider-Man 300, sold for around $700 with, you know, estimated five to 800. So that was a pretty good sale, at least a, a, a nice, a nice purchase for that person. <coughs> Excuse me. And actually, I'll uh, let's go on eBay real quick and see what that because this is a pretty easy book to, to pull up. Just to show you, sometimes you can get um, good prices on auction houses if you know what you're looking for. So let's reference this book because there's uh, tons of sales on a 9.0. It's a, this is a rather common book, so there shouldn't be an issue to find a, a recent sale on this. Um, here we go. So this was just from uh, this afternoon. So a couple of sales, 835, 1,000, 811, 832. So, you know, looks like around the eight to a thousand dollar range not bad um and like i said what did it sell for 700 so you do a little bit of quick math and just to calculate what the estimated price would have been so that's what 140 in fees roughly 
So you're talking about $840 with the premium, uh, not including shipping. So probably $860, $870, something like that. And uh, so, so $870 probably shipped. You got one here for $1,000, one for $834. These are not also including fees. There are associated fees with eBay. So keep that, uh, um, keep that in mind. I'm having a little bit of some issues here with the recording, but uh, I'll just toggle okay. back and forth. So, you know, that's a decent price to look at. Um, I'm going to continue downward uh, to see what else we can find. All right. So I'm just going to scroll rather quickly. Just like I said, there's 252 lots. So it's quite a bit of books here. There was some pretty neat books here. No Golden Age books from what I remember. I think there was just one Golden Age book. It was um, a Dick Tracy book, file copy. If I see it, I'll point that out for you uh, Golden Age fans. Um, I thought this was a pretty good sale right here. Batman Beyond number 6 out of 9.8 sold for 200 I believe they're selling for quite a bit more on eBay. Um, just want to point some of this stuff out real quick. Just so you can quickly have an idea what kind of deals you can get sometimes on auction houses. Um, so these are what can be pretty annoying is when you see these best offer, except you don't really know what it's sold unless you have that site you can quickly look up which I don't know offhand um, but still I think that's a pretty good price for 200 uh, for you DC fans um, let's see what else I can quickly find this is seven pages geez bear with me but there's some good books some books starting as low as 20 bucks so you can even if you just wanted to buy a book at a really affordable price you know, his uh, a book from 1969, you know, 20 bucks, cost you more to grade it and ship it <laughs> than uh, what you can get for this. So that's, that's, a, that's cool if you just wanted the, just a graded book, you know. Um, so there was a few cases where I saw like just $20 sales. Let's see, there's a few here. There for you Dark Cork fans right here, it's 9.6 sold for 50 bucks. That's pretty good. Um, it showed you I, I uh, bid. <laughs> I'm looking out for a DC Comics Presents 26. I uh, just missed the bid. I would have bought that at 130. Um, but then uh, I was walking when I was doing the, uh, when I was looking at the books and uh, I lost reception. So I missed out on that one. So it happens. Um, just showing, trying to see what else was uh, caught my eye. It was that Golden Age book, right? That I was talking about the Dick Tracy Golden Age book for sixty bucks is pretty pretty sweet. Um, regardless of the book, cost you more to send one out than that. So, it's some cool Bronze Age horror. Some Ghost Riders, Ghost, look off a of Ghost Rider, he's popping up. There actually was a Marvel Spotlight that sold in here. Kind of one of the, when I see it real quick, I'll point that out. Thought these, these were pretty interesting. I almost jumped on these. Uh, <clears throat> one of my favorite Green Lanterns, Kyle Rayner. Um, missed it when it came up, I would have bought these. 9.8 sold for 50 bucks. 49 at 9.6 sold for 20. And a 9850 sold for 40 bucks. Well under the estimates here, as you can see. Um, these would have been a great pair to buy. I do have, I believe I have all three. Um, just not graded. But uh, this book alone goes for 150 bucks all day. This one's a $120 book in that grade. I want to say this is at least a $100 book. So... For 110 bucks for FMB over 300, 
that's a no-brainer. Even if you you know you wanted to flip it, which I wouldn't have flipped it. That would those those would have been in the PC. But uh, as it shows you that, <coughs> excuse me, that there's some great deals even at an auction house. Um, this book really caught my eye. Was this Invincible Number One? It's a limited edition convention graded at a 9.9, .9, which is absolutely incredible. It was estimated between eight and twelve hundred dollars. Nine point eights, I believe, go for around three fifty. So uh, to get a five time multiple for a nine point nine was, um, I don't know, a pretty strong price. Um, there, and, and, and it's funny because the nine point nine isn't the highest graded. It's actually one ten point oh on the census. <laughs> so I won't even. Couldn't even imagine what that would sell for. But uh, 2100 is a really strong price for this book. So I'll just go back. thought this was also a really good price for a key book. The first roadie um, has an upcoming series sold for 50 bucks for an INO. Really, really under the radar right there. And uh, we've got a couple of pages left, and then I'll end this stream. Just wanted to show you if there was anything else. This is a nice one right here, Marvel Spotlight 5. This book's been heating up quite a bit in just about every grade. 3.0 selling for $1,100, another strong sale. Went over the estimate. Um, yeah, these early Ghost Riders are super hot. This one kind of surprised me. Um, they had back-to-back -back Moon Knights 9.0s. One was a new stand. One was a direct. And this is a perfect example of when I say early 80s. 1979 was the first year of the direct. Very important. Um, Going to be your scarcest amount of copies that you can get for any, any book, 1979. Up until 85 or eight, <coughs> excuse me, 85 or 86, it became 50-50 split. So this book came out in 1980, and um, obviously the directs were still significantly less, probably about 8% of all copies. And it shows you that not all books are treated the same here when it comes to value. People often think, well, let's get a newsstand for a book in 1980 because it's a newsstand. Well, this is a perfect example in back-to-back -back sales where the newsstand came up first, sold for 130, and the direct came right after and it sold for 140. Um, so it's you know further proof that the directs should be worth more money. You know, yes, they are very hard to get a new stand in a 96, 98 of the book. You know, should it command more money? I don't know. Well, it depends on what you think. Do you want a, a new stand in a high, high grade or, or a book, same book, in a 98 with only 8% of the distributed copies? Your choice. I'm going to go for the direct edition. That's just me. But either book's fine. You know. Um, continuing on. Just trying to point out any other things that, uh, any other books that really just caught my eye. Any crazy sales. And... Uh, Then we'll uh, just finish this up. I was looking at, I, I was really shocked about this price, a 9.6 uh, Hector Ayala for a uh, hundred bucks. That's a pretty good, pretty good price. You know, if you bought that, I, I think so. This is probably around a 200, two and a quarter, $250 book right there. So that's a really, a really good price there for that person that bought it. Um, 
trying to see if there's anything else to point out. I see anything Boba Fett right now is hot. 9.6 sold for 850, which is on the lower end. Oh, that may be right. No, it's right around the middle of the estimate. It's been a great series. If you guys are watching that, write in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the series. I think it's been fantastic. And uh, let's see. Getting right down towards the end. This is the last page. Uh, it says I bid 40 bucks. There you go. So I, <laughs> this was a pre-bid before the uh, auction went on. Just wanted to bid 40 bucks. It sold for 80, which I was kind of kind of surprised. Always looking to get another Beta Ray Bill. Great, great book. Can't wait for him to show up on the uh, big screen. You can see some more Bronze Age books sold for really cheap. 30 bucks for Tomb of Dracula books. At what I call an acceptable grade for a Bronze Age. When I look at Bronze Age books for investment, I look for 7.0 or better. Yeah, that's including in the big keys too. I, I think, you know, obviously there's your exception. If you get your Werewolf by Nights, your Tomb of Draculas, 10s, uh, ASM 129, Hulk 181s. Those are the exception to the rule. And there's an exception to the rule for every era in comic collecting. But just for your generic run-of-the-mill comic from the Bronze Age, I looked for 7.0 or better. That's just me, and that's what I stick to when I buy them. But to see those for that price is pretty, pretty good, pretty good purchases. No TMT number one, third print sold for three fifty at a five five. Not bad price. I think there was one more book I wanted to point out. Oh, here we go. And uh, I'm just mentioned in the beginning of the video, the Werewolf by Night number one at a nine eight sold for. 41,000, 70 sold for 300 bucks. So that's a pretty good price as well. It's still showing that the prices are trickling down a little bit. 70 is, I think, is right around the price where I would pay for that book. Um, it's going to continue to go up in, in value. So that, that'll be a, a good investment. Um, this is probably the last book I wanted to point out. And this is Werewolf by Night 32. Sold for 750 at a 2.0. Which, you know, for people who are out there looking for Werewolf by Night 32s as their grail, is your copy there for under $1,000. You could have you could have bought one right there. Um, I think they were selling for around $1,100 or $1,000 on eBay. So this was a good way to save a couple hundred dollars was buying it right from here. Because I have my uh, 7.0 copy, which I'm very happy with. Um... But I think that was the last book I wanted to point out. Um, yeah, I think so. So uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Just recapping some of the books today on the uh, on the auction. If you did, smash that thumbs up. You know, um, comment down below what you think. And uh, until next time, Mark's with the comics. Out.